Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Hani Ismail, and today you are going to discuss lesson 1.3 Construction Cost Control Basic Course. In this lesson, we will discuss how to perform cost control. We already discussed what is the cost control in the construction projects, why we need cost control in construction projects, and by this stage you should be motivated enough to know the concept or how to perform cost control. As we agreed, this course is practical course, but before going and working with Excel and so on, I need to give you the concept of construction cost control. So I believe you, you will find this lesson very interesting. So let's go and see what is cost control, how to perform it. In order to perform cost control, we need to process four steps. And this is very simple. Don't listen to people who say cost control is very complicated process. I cannot do it. I need the help from all over the project team members to do it. No. I'm going to prove to you in this video that the cost control is very simple and you can do it with minimum requirement or minimum help from the project team. Let's go and see. So the first step is to create the baseline. Like any other process in the project management, you need a benchmark or something to compare the actual progress to it. So our first thing to do here is to have our pays line and in a few minutes we'll see how it looks like. So we have our base line and then prepare your forms. You may ask now one question, why we need to prepare forms every time we are going to uh, perform cost control process in a construction project? My simple answer to this question, as you know, each construction project is a unique and cannot be repeated. It has its own uh, conditions and its own scope of work. Even if you are executing 100 typical units, you will never see that the actual cost for each unit is exactly the same for the other. That's why you need to develop some forms to collect the information based on the project conditions and based on your even the available resources and how people are thinking in the construction project however preparing the forms is very easy process if you know the concept if you know how to plan ahead of time preparing the forms will be very easy so step one is preparing the baseline. Step two is to preparing the forms where you are going to collect the information. Then you need to put this all information together in uh, other forms and we call this step collecting progress. Then you need to report your progress and you may take some action which can impact the baseline. As you know, planning project management is iterative process. You need always to revise your baseline. You need to uh, provide more accurate information. And thanks God we have the Excel, Microsoft Excel. It make our life much easy. You can do all of these in very simple steps. And we'll discuss all of these steps and how to do the four steps in our course. So. In order to develop the cost control baseline plan, we need main four sections. We need to know the man hours, we need to know the equipment, we need to know the materials. Let me show you how the baseline looks like. It is very simple, don't complicate things. However, it is very accurate and it can give what is required exactly. So we have here the first section is for activity. Second section is for bill of quantity. Third section is for labor. Fourth section is for equipment. And then the final section for materials. We are doing all this breakdown in order to get the total planned cost. This, to be honest, 
this stage should be prepared earlier by the tender department however if they didn't do it and you have the information i will teach you in the next uh, lessons how to develop such simple yet effective template we have here two levels the activity level where we are combining all relevant boq items under one heading we call it activity level and we have here the boq level and as we said, we are going to discuss all of these in the relevant lesson. So this is simply the baseline. What else we need to develop? Step number two. Do you remember? Yes. We need to develop the forms. According to our scenario here in this case study, we developed three reports. In your real projects, you may split these three reports into five or maybe you combine these three reports and make it only two as we said it is all depend on your scope of work the site conditions the project conditions but if you understand the concept it will be very easy to modify later on so mainly we need we need daily report the daily report comes from the site engineers and we need the material stores daily report. This could come from the storekeeper or maybe the store manager. Also, we need the equipment daily report. And this could come from the equipment supervisor or maybe the construction manager, whoever is responsible for the equipment in your project. Here is the daily report, how it looks like. It's very simple and it contains only the information we need to know from the site. So we need to know the, the engineer name so we can produce some reports and make this reports grouped by engineer name later on. We need the date of course, we need the item, BOQ description and we need the uh, uh, progress and activity name and in, here's the most important thing in the cost control from the site, we need the manpower. When it comes to the materials, we need to know the engineer name who exchanged this material, the date when it was exchanged, the BOQ items, material name, and quantity. The reason we are asking this information from the stores because we need to do some comparison reports to check the exchanged material from the stores and the executed quantity. We may say to uh, our engineers, hello, you exchanged uh, 500 square meter of uh, porcelain tiles but you only installed 400 where are the remaining 100 it is missed on the site or it is high, very high uh, wastage percentage so we need to know the discharged amount the amount already uh, out from the store and what is installed in the site to make this comparison as i said before all these processes are very very simple you will be surprised how simple it is equipments we need also to know what is the equipment hours was in each item so we need to know the engineer who executed this item and how many hours equipment was involved in this item so by collecting the progress or by creating the forms, we can collect the progress. As I said, I considered the minimum involvement in the team members for the cost control in this course. Why I did so and what I mean by this. If you start telling your project, I need to perform cost control now. They will not be interested until they see some reports from your side. That's why if you ask it for too much information and complicated way from them, they might be not very interested to give you this information. Therefore, I created a very simple Excel sheets at these forms for, for collecting the information from the side and then we are going to create another forms or another templates to gather all this information together 
and it is very simple as well it is very straightforward even we created three templates one for the material updates one for the labor updates and one for the equipment updates let's go and see how it looks like so from the material daily report we can create the material updates sheet it contains the responsible engineer information the voq information and the material information of course we are doing all of this to get at the end the material cost so i'm going to use these daily reports or i give to the site people or they maybe give it to me in pen and paper not even in uh, soft copy no worries if i am motivated enough to perform the cost control i can populate this data uh, in one sheet for the reporting issue so i may have five six ten two engineers i need to put all the data in one place but all these data are related to the materials similarly we are giving the labor updates the same form so we have here the labor daily report or the daily report from the site we can create this form to collect the updates in one place we have here the engineer name the boq items the hours for the labors and of course we can calculate the total cost i will also teach you how to link some excel sheets together so you will minimize your efforts you will automate this process to uh, reduce the required working hours so we have here the labor name labor uh, rate and we have the cost and this very simple uh, process you will find it by yourself when we uh, are doing our case study also we have the equipment updates from the equipment daily report we can create as we as we created in the labor and material we can create this updates we have the engineer we have the boq item and we have the equipment uh, used in this item and of course we are going to calculate the actuals so once i collected the information and i populated it in a proper form i am ready now to uh, prepare a progress report and there are unlimited possibilities or reports you can create however we find that there are some main reports where, where we are going to focus in our case study like productivity performance we are going to create a report for productivity performance material usage or wastage performance equipment usage performance engineering performance i'm not uh, meaning here the engineering work the engineers themselves so the engineers performance items performance like uh, boq items we can combine all together to know how we are performing the porcelain tile the concrete work the mab work whatever and the project overall performance when we finish this process and we created this reports you will find yourself confident enough to add more reports and of course this is all according to your project requirements so the reports can uh, give you signs to take some actions so further actions could be taken based on the progress observations and you may need to revise your baseline or develop a catch-up plan even so let's say if you find one activity is above uh, the budget and you need to uh, finish this activity within budget so we can uh, meet with your project team and agree to reduce the productivity or uh, sorry to reduce the man hours to increase the productivity by somehow to find a way to reduce the material wastage and this could be uh, taken before the project is completed and before you your item is already above the budget so i wish this lesson was simple and easy for you and uh, the main purpose of this lesson is to give you the concept i'm going to use in the cost control basic course 
of course you are very welcome to send me your feedback recommendations questions my aim is to make cost control very easy because it is cost control is very easy already and just we need to think ahead of time be organized prepare our baseline prepare our forms get the progress then we are ready to show the construction team that we can perform cost control with their minimum involvement thank you very much see you in the next lesson